how to make a uh, handheld cutting device. Um, it pretty much uses all the same basic principles from the steps prior and the uh, in step three, the tabletop cutter. Uh, but all we're going to be doing is actually making two uh, of the caps, uh, end caps for that matter. So uh, once again, you can head over to the website uh, under the handheld cutting device. It shows you all the dimensions that we're going to be using, uh, all the materials and everything like that. The PDF that you can download contains a uh, material list to make both the tabletop cutter uh, and a handheld cutter. So uh, you know you can download that and follow along as, as we kind of go through it. So um, looking at uh, our, our machine or our handheld cutting device uh, is we're actually going to have about uh, 18 inches uh, by 12 inches uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, you know, so you're going to have a pretty big span over which you're going to be able to carve or cut out mountains or um, you know really whatever you need to do um, that may be. Where a tabletop device may not actually be uh, feasible for you, especially over you know, maybe a larger surface or something like that. So for a uh, supply list, uh, what we have is 12 of the uh, number 10 washers, 2 of our ring terminals, 4 of our number 10-24 nuts, 4 of our 10-24 wing nuts, two of our 10-24 stove bolts, a figure of eight ring, our trusty spring, and of course our male terminal. Now keeping in mind, uh, the spring that you want is the kind that pulls back, uh, not the kind that you compress. Uh, that way you can have a nice tight uh, taut on the uh, nichrome wire itself. And once again, when we're looking at, uh, when I say 10-24, uh, what that is is 10 has to do with the internal diameter, uh, 24 has to do with the spacing of the actual um, uh, threads themselves. So it makes sure everything lines up appropriately. So in addition to your metal hardware, uh, what we're looking at is uh, two of the uh, L-shaped uh, PVC uh, pieces, uh, two of the uh, T-shaped PVC connectors, uh, two end caps, um, and then of course we have our small connector, uh, the uh, two of our uh, 12 inch pieces, two of the uh, 18 inch pieces, uh, our nichrome wire of course, the uh, primer and cement for the PVC, uh, and then there's other miscellaneous things like you know pliers and, and things of that nature. And of course, don't forget just about a, a pretty good length of electrical wire. Like I said, I'm just using 16-2 uh, uh, speaker wire, which all the dash two means um, is that there's two wires within here. Uh, if you got anything that's dash three, it just means that it's grounded. Uh, I actually prefer to uh, strip out a pretty decent length of wire uh, and feed it through um, the PVC tubing uh, before it's all cemented down. Uh, if you try to feed these wires through, um, you know, and uh, all this stuff is cemented down, it's going to keep getting stuck in all the corners. You know, when using uh, the PVC adhesive uh, and glue, uh, you know, just know that you, uh, uh, you prime first with the purple, uh, and then you follow that up with the actual cement itself. Uh, once you get these pieces kind of together, you kind of got eh, maybe 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. I mean, they say it's not a strong bond until after, I don't know, five minutes or something like that. But I've never been able to get it apart after 30 seconds. So uh, just know that you gotta, you know, measure twice, cut once, and once it's set, it's set. So you're kind of screwed once you get it in there. If you look at the directions, uh, you'll see that the, the model actually starts out with one of these L brackets. Uh, and in the back, you have, uh, you drill a hole, and that's where you can actually pull all your wires through. Um, so that you can feed them off into each direction and that way the, um, the cables are at least hidden just a little bit. So uh, you know, pull your uh, red cable one way uh, and then pull the uh, black cable the other way. So once you have your wire pulled through the corner piece, just proceed to pass it through each consecutive portion of PVC uh, before you prime and cement it, 
Uh, that way it'll be easier and doesn't get stuck in the corners. The next important thing to note is that when you're putting your PVC components together, you want to make sure you're doing it on a flat surface and pressing down on them as you fit them. Uh, that way you make sure everything's in line and all on the same plane. section but uh, you know we'll just keep moving through it and get this thing done. 